Hello, I'm Dr. Mangla Devi. I'm a fertility specialist and gynec and obstetrician. I work at Smile Baby IVF and as a chief consultant in KC Raju Multi Speciality Hospital and Ashishuka Hospitals. Endometrium. So the uterus has three layers, a myometrium, a serosa and an inner, inner lining called the endometrium. So this endometrium is very important for fertility as it is in this place that an embryo implants. However, this endometrium has to be of an adequate thickness. So a thickness of 8 mm is considered as normal but due to several factors this endometrium may become thin in some people. Some of the reasons why this endometrium may thin down may be due to intrauterine infections, it may be due to previous surgeries on the uterus, it may be due to certain use of certain drugs such as oral contraceptives or clomiphene for a long duration. In addition, it may also be due to previous abortions or DNCs that you have undergone. So in either case, when this endometrium is thin, it may cause infertility and may prevent an embryo from implanting and may also cause repeated IVF failures. So how do we diagnose if one has a thin endometrium? A thin endometrium can be diagnosed with the help of an ultrasound scan. So on this scan, we can directly measure the thickness of the endometrium and also the health and vascularity that is the blood supply to the endometrium can also be measured. So by measuring this, we can easily make out whether such an endometrium will help in IVF or not. So what are the problems if a person conceives with a thin endometrium and becomes pregnant? So if a person has a thin endometrium and manages to conceive, then there are some problems associated with that as well. We have seen that a pregnancy associated with a thin endometrium as occurs in case of fertility treatments can lead to repeated miscarriages. In addition, it can also lead to prior preterm labor, that is labor that occurs even before the baby has matured. Then in addition, a thin endometrium can also give rise to intrauterine growth retardation or low birth babies. That is, the weight of the baby may be very small and the baby, baby may not grow according to the expected standards. So all these problems are due to pregnancy in a thin endometrium. Why does a thin endometrium cause uh, problems during pregnancy? A thin endometrium can cause recurrent abortions, it can cause increased chance of preterm labor, it can also cause pregnancy-induced hypertension. A thin endometrium can also give rise to IUGR or a low birth baby. Why do these problems occur? These problems occur because of abnormal placentation. That is, because of the thinness of the endometrium, the placenta may not be properly attached and may not develop properly, thus compromising the blood supply to the embryo and give rise to all these problems during pregnancy. How can we overcome these problems? We can overcome these problems if detected prior to pregnancy by improving the thickness of the endometrium. This is done as an adjunctive therapy with lot of infertility treatments. So what can we do? We can give what is known as estrogen supplementation. So this thin endometrium is indirectly a result of lower levels of estrogen hormone. Estrogen can be given in many forms. It is available in the form of tablets, patches. It can be even available in the form of sprays, case of creams or pessaries. So this estrogen when given can supplement and enhance the thickness of the endometrium. In addition, we have other drugs which act as supplementary therapies such as low dose ecosprin or in case of sildenafil as well. So these again are added in addition to enhance the thickness of the endometrium. Nowadays, we have some newer modalities of treatment called as granulocyte colony stimulating factor. This is a small injection which can be given either intrauterine or intramuscularly and it is seen to enhance the thickness of the endometrium. In addition, stem cell therapy and platelet rich plasma are other factors in addition which can help with improving the thickness. Along with that, some ancillary therapies or herbal remedies like acupressure and Ayurvedic supplements. There are a whole lot of remedies which are not proven to improve but can be tried as well to improve the thickness of the endometrium. Thank you.